So I left this uh, thing running overnight to put it through its 14 hour pump down cycle. So let's see what happens when uh, we get to the end of that. Okay, we've got to the point where it says system operational. So let's uh, stick a sample in. And here's our preview image from the camera, which we can sort of navigate around on the touch screen to find the bit we want to take a look at. And now we can go into electron mode, which is winding the sample back into the uh, main column. And all we see is a ton of noise. I've tried all the various uh, magnification focus settings and there's sort of no difference at all. Interesting, we do have a filament OK lead. Um, I've hooked up this meter to measure the voltage. Obviously this is raised to about 5 kV, so I've put the meter on this big block of plastic. So we've got about 7.5 volts across the filament. But of course the key thing is do we have any current? I've got this nice little um, Win Apex 268B clamp meter. It's quite a nice little uh, device. It goes down to fairly low DC current clamp mode. And I think it's got on AC current, it's got, it goes down to about a milliamp. So it's quite a nice little gadget. They're really cheap on AliExpress. Well worth having. So if we go near the filament wire, zero out the uh, offset clamp meter round. Bear in mind this has got 5 kV on this thing. We've got like pretty much nothing on that sort of five milliamps and I think that's just random stray fields, pretty much nothing. So it does look like the, um, the filament's open. It's a little bit surprising that the unit doesn't have any diagnostics to tell you that. Just probe this opto isolator going from the filament supply down to the low voltage side and that's just got a PWM signal so I'm sure that's just the voltage feedback um, so that it can regulate the filament voltage but say it's a little bit surprising there doesn't seem to be any monitoring of the filament current. Now the uh, the noise and the lack of current is pretty much the smoking gun in terms of you know, dead filament and the noise you know obviously we're not getting any signal at all but I'm just wondering if we can get any signal from the um, nickel 63 source from the um, substances uh, sniffer because um, that's presumably going to be spitting electrons out that uh, may be detectable by the detector. So let's, uh, let's see what happens if we stick this in. Well, it doesn't seem to be detecting anything. But it may just be because it's not strong enough. You know, these vertical lines on the monitor, that's just the monitor. The uh, backlight is in a fairly rough state. It's not, you know, we're getting no structured information at all out of the uh, detector. And the only thing I can do that makes any difference visually, if I just adjust the contrast, that it's clearly just adjusting the gain. So you know, we go from nothing to we're just amplifying noise from the lack of uh, signal. And the focus and magnification controls make no difference whatsoever. The thing we can do though is just adjust the magnification to see what this is in theory capable of doing. So if we go up to full, we're looking at a uh, 24,000 times magnification, yeah, 10 micron field of view. So this scale, each of those small ticks is one micron. So if this is working, yeah, we have got some fairly decent uh, resolution, but resolution down to like about 100 nanometers or so, which would be fun if we can uh, get this thing working. So unfortunately it looks like that confirms that there is a problem with the filament or emitter on this thing. I am going to obviously pull this apart and delve into it. I don't really have time at the moment so it might be a week or two before I get a chance to do that. Worst case we will get to see inside it and then see what's happening. I mean it may be feasible to just bodge out like some sort of tungsten emitter to get some sort of image out of it. Obviously it won't be nearly as good as it, it's capable of but uh, worst case hopefully we'll actually get something going. And if anyone happens to have a uh, Serum hexaborate crystal emitter kicking around gathering dust then uh, please get in touch.